Welcome to a demonstration on using reoccurring transactions in Sage Simply Accounting. This presentation is presented by iAccountingTraining.com and its sister site SimplyTraining.ca. Using reoccurring transactions saves you time of redoing the same transaction that you may use and record over and over again. We will demonstrate the steps on how to use reoccurring transactions. You will learn how to save and store reoccurring transactions, how to recall and record a recurring transaction, what if a reoccurring transaction amount or information has changed. We will modify and resave a reoccurring transaction. And last, we will look at the reoccurring transaction report. Now let's begin and move to Sage Simply Accounting. Let's begin with storing and saving reoccurring transactions in the General Journal window. Under the Company page and under Accountants tasks, let's select the General Journal icon and open up the General Journal window. To first of all save or store a new reoccurring transaction, we need to complete the Journal window. Our first example today is saving and storing a reoccurring adjustment of our monthly insurance. So we're, let's fill out the journal window. We'll begin with the source window and we will type in the source adjust. Over to the date field, let's select the date of the adjustment. In the comment field, I'm just going to type in monthly insurance adjustment. I'm also going to, in this example, put the end date of that monthly insurance adjustment. Let's select the accounts. Once when you have your journal window journalized to the reoccurring transaction. Prior to posting the reoccurring transactions, we need to first of all save it. In the toolbar, you have two boxes, yellow boxes with blue arrows. The first one with the arrow pointing down is where we can store the reoccurring transaction. The other is we're going to do in the next example is we're going to recall the reoccurring transaction and record it. So first of all, let's start with saving as a reoccurring transaction. Click the button and the store reoccurring transaction window will display. You need to give the reoccurring transaction a name and also you can set the frequency. In this example, we're going to store it, we're going to just leave it as it is. And also, I'm just going to select the frequency. You can see the uh, uh, frequencies that are available in storing your transaction. By setting the frequency, Simply Accounting will automatically know and, and save when the next, when this transaction is, uh, ne when it needs to be posted next. So I'm going to select monthly here and click OK. Now that we have stored the transaction, we can post it. The next example is to recall a reoccurring transaction. So we saved the last example as a reoccurring transaction. Now it's next month and we want to uh, recall and record that same transaction. To recall a reoccurring transaction, again we can just go up to the toolbar, but this time we're going to select the yellow box with the blue arrow pointing up. And you can see the words identify to recall reoccurring transaction. Let's click that button and the recall reoccurring transaction window will display. In this window, I'm just going to select how to view those reoccurring transactions by, you can, you can recall them by transaction name, the frequency, the date last posted, or the next due date. Notice also in the window that it has the transaction name, the frequency, the date that it was last recorded, and also the next due date. 
In the example in the window here, we have two reoccurring transactions saved. One that we just saved, the monthly insurance adjustment, and the other one was previously saved. Let's select first of all the monthly insurance adjustment and click the select button. Notice in the window that how we had journalized the last transaction, Simply Accounting has recalled the exact same transaction. This saves us time in completing the window again each month. Notice in the date field that Simply Accounting has automatically selected the next month date. Let's select Post here to, to record the transaction. Now here's a little tip, if you have those monthly adjustments, you can recall those adjustments each month and post them all for an entire year. Let's select one that was currently in there, amateurization. Let's select it, and you can see that we had saved this earlier with accounts, with the account selected. And let's post this. So I'm going to close the window now. So far we have learned how to save and store a new reoccurring transaction, also how to recall and record a, a reoccurring transaction. I'm going to take you now into the receivables module. And in any of the module windows, we are able to save reoccurring transactions. Let me give you a demonstration on a saved reoccurring transaction of a sales invoice. In the Sales Journal window, we have the Recall Reoccurring Transaction button in the toolbar. Let's select that and you can see that we have a sales invoice saved for the Waterloo Property Group. Let's select it and any information that you have saved, for example, in the Sales Invoice will be saved. So let's go ahead and review the invoice. Everything looks right. Uh, we can go ahead and email out that invoice. And then record it. This next example is what if we have, need to modify a recurring transaction? So how do we do that? So I'm going to add some items. There's a new property that we need to add uh, to the sales invoice. So therefore, we will be modifying that reoccurring transaction. So let's go ahead and recall that reoccurring transaction. Again, from the toolbar, I'm going to select the Recall Reoccurring Transaction button. And we are going to select the reoccurring transaction. Now in the window here, we can see what we had saved. It's uh, ready for next month invoicing, but we have to add a property to this particular sales invoice. So therefore, we will be modifying this reoccurring transaction. In the next line here, I'm just going to um, add the information to the invoice. So now that we have added a new property to the invoice, I am just going to insert a line here. Now to save the new and modified reoccurring transaction, we go back up to the toolbar where it says store as reoccurring transaction. So you must do the modification in the journal window first, select to store the reoccurring transaction. It brings up the reoccurring transaction name and also frequency. Everything should remain the same or is going to remain the same in this example. I'm going to select OK and you will get a confirmation stating that the reoccurring transaction is already in use. Would you like to override the old one? And yes, we've updated it so I will se select yes in this window to save the reoccurring transaction. Now we are ready to go ahead and we will email this out again.
and post the transaction. So let me just go back into the recall reoccurring transaction window here so that you can see that the transaction name, the frequency, the date that it was last posted, and also the next month's due date. If I select this, notice that it saved what we had edited um, prior to storing it as a uh, reoccurring transaction. So let's close the window here and go back to the home window of Simply. So that was how to modify a reoccurring transaction. You can save reoccurring transactions and modify them and uh, resave them. One thing to note is that if you are resaving a reoccurring transaction, it will override the previous one. If you do not want it to override the previous one, you can change the name um, as to what that reoccurring transaction is going to be stored as. Next, let me take you into another way where you can view and record your reoccurring transactions very quickly, and that is using the Daily Business Manager. In the home window, the DBM icon at the very top of your window stands for the Daily Business Manager. Let's click on that and open it up. In the Daily Business Manager window, you will have a tab if you have reoccurring transactions, and it will display the reoccurring transactions at the bottom of the window. Now, notice that we don't have any reoccurring transactions that currently are displayed, and that it has to do with the calendar at the top. So let me just change this to, uh, for example, uh, March um, 16th here in the calendar, notice that all the reoccurring transactions that we have saved in our data will appear. It shows you uh, what journal those reoccurring transactions are saved to. It will identify the description, the frequency, when it was last processed, and when the next due date is. Let's go ahead and select the general amortization monthly adjustment. I'm going to click on it and it's going to take us to the general journal window with the reoccurring transactions selected. We can go ahead and post it from this window. So using the general journal window is, or sorry, using the daily business, business manager window is a quick and easy way to see which reoccurring transactions have been recorded and which ones have not. So let's close out of the daily business manager. The last item for reoccurring transaction is taking a look in the report center and viewing our reoccurring transactions. So let's go down and select the report center icon to open up the report center. In the report center, you will see under the grouping reoccurring transactions. This report will display uh, transactions, I'm going to select all reoccurring transactions and click the display button. So you can print a report that will identify which reoccurring transactions you have saved in your company data. So let's close out of the reoccurring transaction report and the report center. And this concludes a presentation of using reoccurring transactions in Sage Simply Accounting. This concludes a presentation on using reoccurring transactions in Sage Simply Accounting. We hope this video has provided you with relevant how-to information. Please take the time to visit our website, iaccountingtraining.com or simplytraining.ca for information and complete courses on the Sage Simply Accounting program and other relevant accounting training. Thank you and take care.